To be honest, I can never find a better product in this category. Okay, you better wow me, yeah. No one has ever made a product better than them. Wow, this is a very, mm. very huge claim, ah. Three, two, one. And we're back with one new episode and hope yes. everyone is doing well in the midst of all this COVID situation. Yes, we've been party of five, party of two, but whatever it is, we're here to party today <laughs> uh, with uh, our monthly favourite. Yes. So we will be introducing our favourite products for the month and hopefully it'll be something useful for you. Mm -hmm. So as usual, I'm going to begin with you. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so... <laughs> 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 Whatever the haha okay, means. Okay, the first product actually, um, the genre of the product or mm. the ingredient of the product I've, mm. I've recommended before in okay. Money Product Showdown. But it's a new brand. I find that, oh yeah, I cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel this brand is better than the previous brand that I recommended. Ouch, okay. Yeah. It's not that the previous brand is bad. Okay. I just find that it's slightly better. Better. Uh, well, okay, mm. so I would like to know a few things before you dish it out. Okay, okay. Uh, better in terms of ingredients or no, in ingredients terms of price point? Exactly the same. This is slightly oh. more expensive actually. Okay. I just find that the texture is slightly better. Okay, don't keep us waiting. Come on, okay. come on, show it to us. Um, it is Saka Pear Serum. So previously, I've, <laughs> I've recommended uh, Medicube. Yes, you did. Mm, where they... And I bought it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't know, I just realised this ingredient is something that which I've been using quite often recently. Yeah, particularly of, with the mask situation, mm, right? Sensitive yeah. skin, oily mm. skin. Yeah. Uh, the previous one, the previous one I recommended was um, Medicube. Yes. Not that it's bad, mm. I also like it. Mm. But I realised that from Dr. Judd, they have the whole range of uh, Saka Pear which uses the same ingredient. Mm. What's the name of the ingredient now? Mm. question. I'll put it down here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but technically what I like is that it is really in terms of the texture and in terms of how, uh, how moisturizing it is Ooh. compared to um, Medicube. Once again, I want to say not that Medicube is bad. Like, I just said, I do realize that if I just compare this to, um, I actually prefer Dr. Judd. Okay. And I actually like Dr. Judd a lot. I think it's a very understated brand. Previously, my friend keep recommended, mm. um, keep recommending Dr. Jack to me, but I was like, no, I'm not interested until I actually bought the mask and tried. And I realized that actually their skincare product is really quite decent. So I like this uh, range a lot, Circa Pair. Okay, before I move on mm. to my product, right, I mm. need to <clears throat> grill him a little bit more on why he likes this product because clearly we, yeah. we have the whole Medicube episode as well. Mm. So you mentioned you like this better. Is yeah. it in terms of application, the way it either stays on the skin or the texture, or is it price point? Mm. I think both of them are very similar. They are gel-based mm -hmm. serum. Um, I find this one uh, uh -huh. slightly less sticky. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. You're right, you're right. Because yeah. you just, uh, you gave me quite a generous amount mm. and it absorbs really quickly. Yeah. Before I talk about my products, today I'm going to talk about my <laughs> box. Okay, my mystery box today. Okay. Uh, there is a theme that uh, I, I'm going with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've been talking about us, you know, going party of five, party of two and the work from home, it's almost like a default for us. So interestingly, the products that I put together for this month, I think... Um, um, for men or for ladies, I mean for anyone out there who wants to, you know, look good in an instant, to be Zoom ready at all times and not look tired, I think, yeah, this would be what my, my box uh, would be going for. So mm -hmm. it's about your skin, but better. Okay, so okay. I'm going to begin with my first product. So the first product is... Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. I love the shape. So cute, guys. It's like a little egg shape. Uh, so this is Clinique's Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. Hmm. Uh, so this is a foundation and I think the idea of foundation for most people, right? It's it's not a new thing. We've done a couple of foundation episodes. Yeah. Don't give me the face. No, 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 it's really no, like, no, oh my no, God, no, you know? No, you know why I will make okay. the face, yeah. So um, the thing with this foundation is that it's a serum foundation. It's actually quite a runny foundation. So it's not your typical uh, sort of very thick foundation. Um, but when you apply it, you can definitely layer. So I would say this would be what I call a medium to a full coverage if you want it to be. I typically use very, very little. So I'm going to talk about the, the ingredients in there that makes it a serum foundation that makes your skin even better than it is. Uh, has a very, very lovely glow, almost like a glass skin if you put very, very little. Okay, you don't have to like go heavy duty on that. So the ingredients that we have in there, let me just refer. Um, 
And there is clearly, I always have a problem pronouncing Aerolic it. Acid. Yes, that's right. Okay, the other one is uh, salicylic acid. So that helps to smoothen your skin texture, which is really great. You want to look good for Zoom. And then the other one would be vitamin C. So I think that would uh, really help with the brightening. So usually when I use this, I skip concealer. Uh, I would do my whole face very, very thinly. And then after that, just top up with, uh, you know, a little bit more under my eye to conceal. Uh, just a little bit of powder blusher and I'm, you know, with my brows, I'm ready to go for a Zoom meeting. So what's your story with Clinic Hum? <laughs> you know, we always, you know, when we move from off-the-shelf or drugstore brands to uh, beauty counter brand, mm. probably Clinic, like, same as you, is the very first brand. Yes. Mine was probably Clinic and Lab Series. Ah, okay. Yeah, both are under SD Lauder. Uh. Yeah. So, yep. The thing that I remember is really our toner. Yes. It's very... Okay, I... I Clarifying toner, right? Yeah, the yeah. one that probably... It, it's slightly harsh because yeah. it's supposed to get rid of oil, yeah. you know, dirt whatsoever. Yeah. Um, so, you know, when you're young, puberty, you get yes, all the pimples yes. and acne. I think it's yes. that super great. So, I think as you get old... As you get older, and probably acne isn't our number one mm. problem. Um, so, probably we stopped using clinic for a very, very long I know, time. I, I, have yeah. to, I have to admit. Okay, so after clinic... It's my second product. Mm -hmm. Okay, this second product is a classic. Uh. I've been using it though, since when. Uh. But to be honest, I can never find a better product in this category. Okay, you better wow me. Uh. No I'm one has ever one. made a product better than them. Wow, this is a very, mm. very huge claim. Uh. No one has ever made a better product than them. Okay, you because gotta show Because in it. this category, uh -huh. it's a very small category. Actually, a lot of people don't use one. Uh, huh? But I find it very hard to find a better product because they almost stopped production for this product. Lips? No. Nails? No. <laughs> it's actually nose product. Nose? Oh, oh, oh! The, the, uh, remove yes. your oh. So you know there's a lot of like nose peel in the yes. market. You know, the Bjork. Yeah, anyway, yes. <laughs> yeah, start with other brands. One. Not that those brands are bad. Mm. But you know, I really have tried every single thing. Okay. So this is an OG of nose peel. OG of... Oh so my it's God, from Kose. Is... Oh, Kose. It's intelligent sebum remover mask and, you know, uh, a sebum uh, sort of like a pre-mask thing. So you apply this onto the nose, uh -huh. then you apply this. Uh -huh. It'll get rid of everything. So, okay. wait, so how hard does that work? You apply this and then you apply this. Does yeah. it solidify? Then you yeah. also have to peel off yeah, as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. So like the story was, I actually knew about this product when I was in secondary school. <sighs> Oh, I'm also old school on this product. I don't remember you remember this magazine, uh, this magazine called Men's Uno. It's a Taiwan yes, magazine. Yes, yes, yes. So back then, you they're know... They're still around, no? No, oh, they're, they're still around. They're still around, right? Yeah, yeah, so okay. I, I bought the Taiwan version. Ah, okay. So you know, they have always all these free sachets yes, of, yes, of yes. products in the magazine. Back in the day. So they gave this. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, you know, normally I threw them away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care about all yeah, those yeah, like, yeah. Free, product, uh, free samples. Yeah. So I was like, okay, maybe I just should, should just try because mm. it looks rather new. Because back then, there wasn't a lot of nose product. There wasn't, yeah. I don't even yeah, remember. In, in, in secondary school, yes. There yes. wasn't even those. Was that Biore? Actually, there was la. There was, but I don't remember the 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 the, the particularly for for like blackheads yeah. and whiteheads for nose. Yeah. Like, maybe not so. Yeah. So when I first tried, right, I got shocked because you know the the nose pack or nose peel, right? Yeah. Actually, they are not very tight one. Is it not? Mm. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I have a, because for me, right, my nose is very oily. Okay. So when I use them, right, if I don't stand in front of the aircon. My nose will start to secrete oil, which means that it loosens the grip of uh -oh. the... Mm. Okay, okay, yep. okay. So this one, you apply this onto your nose first. Okay, then I'm you apply this I one. Yeah. I tell you, it's the stickiest mask ever. <laughs> it For really your moves, nose? It really moves everything. Eh. Really? So when I used the sample pack from the magazine, right? Yeah. When I peel off, right? I was like, what the hell? Everything was on the nose pack. Huh? Every single white hit, black hit, everything. Are you serious? Yeah, so this is the best thing that I've, you've been using since secondary school until now. Oh yeah, I have a question. Where do you mm. get this now? Uh, Kosei counter, I bought it at Takashimaya. Okay, and, and you how know much when is I first this? started buying, yeah. it was $40. Uh-huh, now? $75. <laughs> Two yeah, yeah two sorry. together seventy five. Wow. Okay, but the nose area is smaller, so yeah. with this, I think you can you know mm. use many many times. But I have to say this one when you're using right, it's good to stand in front of a fan. Okay, so now it's your Ooh. turn for your second product. Yes. So following the theme, I mean it's the same theme mm -hmm. about looking great. You know when you're in front of the you know Zoom and and whatever meetings that you have. So the next one that I have is a base product. And I've been using it for maybe a month or so, or two weeks, I can't remember. Mm. So this is 
a UV base from Kate, and Kate is a brand from Japan, Kate Tokyo. You can actually get this uh, in Guardian or Watson's, I believe. Uh, I don't have a price point at this point. I can't quite remember how much I bought it for. Uh, so this is uh, with uh, SPF uh, 50 plus plus. So um, what I've been using with this one is uh, just to show you, uh, it actually has got some colour over here, but I think the colour matches me perfectly. Mm. Uh, but I'm not so sure if you perhaps are a little bit healthier in terms of your skin tone, whether healthier. it will work. Um, yeah, if you're healthier skin tone, I'm not sure whether this will work because oh, okay. for me, uh, I think that the colour when I blend out, it's, it's kind of perfect. Uh, so this is of a slightly thicker texture, but it blends out beautifully. Okay, beautifully is the word. And your skin just brightens so quickly. All you need after this is just concealer under your eye if you require. Or if not, use that double up also as a concealer with a blusher, with your eyebrows, you're again ready to go for Zoom. Now for this particular one, I would recommend for um, people that with combination skin, uh, or if you have a little bit uh, slightly oilier skin, if you have very dry skin, I think this one might be a little bit challenging for you. Please make sure that you moisturize your skin really, really well if you have dry skin before you use this. Because the texture is a little bit not as runny as like this other serum uh, foundation that I've talked about. Okay, because when I was buying this, right, um, I saw this other product from Kate. Okay. Um, of course, nothing to do with face, but it still looks good. So I just want to say, okay, now, We've been wearing masks quite a fair bit. Sometimes when you're having a Zoom meeting, right? <laughs> you just need something to make you like, you know, look great and brighten up your right. skin. So for me, it's always the lipstick. Lipstick. So I found this product from Kate that is called the Lip Base. So we are very, very familiar with like, um, you know, base product to hold your foundation, to make your foundation true to color, so on and so forth, right? So this product over here, when you put it on, okay, you look a bit like ghost. I'll be very honest because it's of this color. It's very, very true to this color. Yeah, it's so, like brown. Yeah, you will look like you add a lot of caramel, lah, you know. But after that, when you put on your lipstick, whatever is the color of your lipstick, it really, really shows the true color of your lipstick. So it works very, very well as a lipstick base. Okay. And, I, and I think this is the first time I ever used a lipstick base so i was very curious uh when i saw it with this product so that's how i decided i'll give this a shot and uh, today i'm also using this as well and i think it looks very good on camera so now we are down to the last product mm. and the last product <laughs> is okay to be honest uh, this last product uh, was very unexpected for me because i always mm. i like what i said just now <laughs> This is a brand that probably it's like it's in the past, yeah. You know, to me now, because we have grown out of the brand. You know, you gotta yeah. stop saying that because people, you know, on the other side wouldn't <laughs> know no, how, how old are we? exactly how long. But just twenty eight this year. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, we'll try that again. But I must say that each time, uh, for the last couple of um, you know, episodes when we're talking about the the new products, mm -hmm. right? Your new products never fail to surprise me, and mm -hmm. I'm excited to know what is this brand that you said you know has been maybe I uh, won't say long forgotten. Uh. Yeah, don't say the thing in the past like ouch to okay, the brand. Okay, okay. But okay. with this product, it has made a comeback, like. In, in your list. I feel like I will buy the second bottle. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, wow. I okay, would. okay. This is I a good would. one. If you want And actually, I use it when I was younger in secondary school. So, <laughs> What is it with you <laughs> these days that you're going back to secondary school, dig up all the brands? <laughs> all the things that I've been using. This product is uh -huh. Clinique. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, you know, like, you know, they are. Their signature product yes. is really the dramatically different moisturizer. Yes, yes. That was probably my first moisturizer, I the yellow color one. Yeah, yes, okay. So they come out with this new a tone up gel. Yes. Okay. Initially I was like, oh, I really hate tinted product. Like, to be honest, mm. I really don't like mm. tinted product. Mm, mm. It either gives a very odd color. Yeah. Or a very half past six coverage. Yeah. Yes, so, agree, agree. Uh, and to me, as a skincare, I don't want color because sometimes when I sleep, my pillowcase is white. Why do I want the tinted product? You, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, yeah. okay. And generally, guys just don't like tinted product. La. Okay. Like, even foundation is very rare and few. This product, to be honest, it was given to me. Yeah. I didn't okay. buy it. Okay. Uh, so this is the clinic ID where you can... And then, you know, this extra pump of whatsoever. What is extra whatsoever. pump that, What is the extra pump of whatsoever okay. that you added in? So they have different kind of 
hum, yeah. uh, extra is this the one serum. for spots? Yes, this yeah. even out the skin tone. Yeah. Okay. Uh, which is transparent. Mm, mm, mm. But what I love, love, love mm. is technically the thing that I keep using mm. every day mm. uh, for the past one month mm. is it actually brightens up the skin tone mm. very well mm. um, to a point that mm. it reminds me of SK2 when you use um, the... Your Yeah, yeah, your facial treatment yeah. essence. Mm. There's this glow that it comes with it. Mm. So I really like it because it really gives the skin a very healthy glow yeah. without looking weird. Then, initially when I saw the colour, right, I was like, wow, this one look like some baby... Yeah, lotion, yeah. right? Yeah. I was like, and it says that tone up gel. I was like, yeah, I just don't, I just don't find it amazing. La. But when I first tried it, right, I was like, this is a must for me every morning now. So you use this every morning, every right? Every morning. And uh, it hydrates really well. I think the great thing is that it's a gel. Unlike the uh, dramatically different moisturizer, which is very cream based mm. or very slightly on the oilier side, um, I don't really like it. Back then, I used it a lot because it was trending. You know, mm. as a secondary yes. school kid with not a lot of well informed choices. This, I did this whole secondary school no, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not saying the brand is bad, yeah. but you know, as a young consumer, yes. you just want to buy it because everyone is using yes. it. I understand. Yeah, I just want to go to a counter. I just want to buy a bottle of Clinique. Like yeah. I use Clinique. Yeah. But now I truly. Feel that okay, this tone up gel, right? It's it's very good for guys, lah, especially those with oily skin. Can I just mm. say that I'm very, very pleasantly surprised, okay? I really didn't expect for both of us <laughs> to pick up yeah, yeah, yeah. uh clinic product. So when I saw this, I was like, eh? Sure not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so that's the first thing I really, really didn't expect. Okay? And then for those mm. who are watching, uh, please note that you know all this are really not rehearsed. We yeah. just pick whatever we want and then we come we in. Just throw in the box and yeah. we didn't tell one another what's in the box. We talk yeah. about it. And and this is probably also the first time that we do this. I'm going to say, right, mm -hmm. I've used this before and I've used like already two of this. Already. It's really very good. It's, it's the really exact very good. same formulation that mm. you're going for. So I went for the one that's for visibly brighter, brighten, uh, mm. brighter skin and also this tone-up gel in pink. I use this underneath my makeup. Hey, why I never introduced this before? I still don't know. Uh? Yeah, you but don't like it enough, that's why. <laughs> I've actually used it twice, okay? And not gifted her, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Huh? But, oh my. But anyway, yeah, so I've used it twice and I use it underneath makeup. You're right, it hydrates mm. and it has a very, Brighten, very nice glow. glow. Okay, so after two clinic products, <laughs> unintentionally, we have come to the last product from Fiona. Yeah, so this one is my last product mm -hmm. and I have it all over my face. Would you like to say something <laughs> about how beautiful I look is today? Is setting spray or... <laughs> loose powder no 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 it's not setting spray nor loose powder but mm -hmm. I'm going with the theme again that you know um, base product that make your face look better than it is and this has mm -hmm. also been one of my favourite that I'm reaching out almost every other day as well uh, as you can tell I reach out to all of this every other day we rotate so this actually I think you were like okay let's yeah see. It's from NARS! Again! <laughs> it's very dirty, I'm sorry. So you can see how love this is, you know. This is really dirty. Okay, but I must say, this is the first tinted moisturizer I have used. I have never been a fan of tinted moisturizer. You can have a look. Uh, I've really never been a fan. <laughs> yes, for a couple of reasons, okay. One is that there is always a lack of coverage. Two, it's always very oily. Mm. Three, it doesn't stay. It runs, in fact. So, uh, I've never quite gotten lucky with a tinted moisturizer. Usually, I get it in samples. You know, when you go to the counter, you buy something else. They say, we have a new tinted moisturizer. You try. I've never gotten a lot of luck with this one. Um, but with this, I am pleasantly surprised. This is a buildable formula, like I said again. It has got vitamin C in it. It smells divine. Can you smell the vitamin C? Okay, it's just me. <laughs> it smells, okay, for me, it smells divine. And it works so well when you put it on your fingertips, you warm it up a little bit, you spread it all across your face. It has got SPF... 35. 35 plus plus plus, is yeah. it? Yeah, 35 plus plus plus. Sorry, or is it 50? 30 plus plus plus. 30 plus plus plus. So you basically have a, um, a, a good, decent coverage. You also have your SPF in there. You have some skincare properties like vitamin C. It lasts throughout the whole day. Today, my face is literally just this tinted moisturizer with concealer and powder. Well, just mm. for my under eye and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I must say that for this product, um, it would work well for people, for those of us out there that are combination skin, 
And this would be great if you have dry skin. Yeah, so mm. that's my third product today. Great, great. Okay, mm. now it's time to choose your favorite product or the product that you would buy. Uh, maybe I'll start with you. Out of the three products I've recommended today. Okay, yours is a tough Yeah, we did one. try one already. La. So this one is like okay, out so, of topic. Okay, so since I've tried this before, I mm. will not pick this. But if it was in the category, I would definitely pick this because I know it works. Mm. Uh, it works for me at least. Um, I think if I were to pick one of your products today, the one that really got me like, wow, my jaw really dropped when you took it out. I mean, it's this nose one eh? It's very, very unexpected. Yeah, this yeah. Kose one. This it's, is really good. But first of all, how leche is that? <laughs> that you need to like use this and use oh, this first. Oh. But the fact that it's a two-step thing mm. and it clears out everything, I, I, I think it has that additional, you know, factor for me. I mean, it's 75 bucks, so it better has, has something else rather than like, mm. like one tube, right? Yep. Um, I, I like that it, Kose is doing a fantastic job. I really didn't know that Kose has this. So for me, I think this would be something that I will buy. So for me, um, I, will, I will try this. Very, very wise. Yeah, mm. because it... I mean, um, I like the texture when I was trying it. Yeah. So I was like applying to, onto my hand, right? Mm. To be honest, the coverage is very low. Yes. It's almost translucent. Yes. I think probably it will just brighten up the skin tone. Mm. I'm just wondering whether it will have that gradient effect like this one, but probably a little coverage from its, its stintedness. Like. This is an interesting episode of... Um, comeback products and new products. Yes, and my I wish love the for word you. Comeback yeah, product. you gotta yeah. stop using that, you know, for our brands here. But anyway, I wish for you to continue to glow, glow, glow mm -hmm. up, whether you're working from home or whether you're heading out. And uh, just stay safe and be well. Okay, Ooh. and we'll see you in our next episode. Bye. Yeah.